Welcome to part 4 of Trousers from Scratch. You won't be seeing much of my face in this episode because most of the attention will be on my sewing machine and on my ironing board while we construct the back pockets of our trousers. Let's get to work! We're going to be making this dart, so what you need to do is you need to fold your fabric so that these white lines that you marked or in another color lie on top of each other, so you need to fold it in the middle of this dart. Make sure things are nicely aligned. Now what I tend to do is put a pin this way horizontally to tell you where the dart actually stops. We're going to sew on this white line from here and to here on this tip and you should try to just fall off the fabric at the height of this pin. We're going to do the same on the other side because you want your darts to stop at the same height because if one dart is lower, that looks bad. Make sure to go back on the start of your seat. Backwards for a while. Take your time, make sure it's straight. Towards the end, when you're about to follow the fabric, you can actually go off by one stitch and backpack. When you do, make sure you don't go into, you know, closer to the pants so that it opens up. The backpack should be in the in the right part of of uh, your dart so that you know when it opens up, you don't see that. Look at the good side. You get a dart. You're going to press this dart and iron it flat and it's going to look great. We're going to press this dart flat now. When you're making not just these trousers but any garment, it's really important to press your seams nicely. That will make it look so much better. So you just press the dart to one side all the way to the tip. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the um, interfacing here. And what we're going to do, we're going to put this interfacing so that it aligns with the top and at the tip of it, because it goes a bit in the tip, it's nicely there on our dart. This way. Now make sure you put it with the shiny face. You see how it shines? This is dull. The shiny side has to go on your fabric. And then just iron it in place. There we go. Now, this is attached now. See? It makes it a little bit stronger. And our dart that we've ironed nice and flat looks great. Next up is um, the back pocket facing. Back pocket facing is part G. Get it right here um, together with the paper and Part G needs to go on here with the good side up, so this is the bad side. As you can see, I wrote the G on there. Good side up. Now, where does it go? It goes in the middle of the weld pocket. If you want to know exactly where it is, go back to your pattern piece I, which is the back pocket interfacing. You'll see that it matches the top pocket back. You got the weld pocket opening on there, all right? So just Put that in the middle there, just like that. That's where it needs to go. I'm just going to pin this in place. Make sure it's nice and horizontal. Back at our sewing machine, we'll be 
opening a zigzag stitch. Don't forget to go a little backwards at the start. One side. Really wrong when I said that pressing is important. I really wasn't joking. And you'll find that often, right after we've sewn something, we're gonna press it, put our iron on it. We need to transfer the weld pocket marking. And for that, I advise you to take part I the pocket interfacing because that has the belt pocket marked on it. You just put your pocket down, put this pattern part on it and then you can mark it. And what I did is I folded that double and then cut it open so that this belt pocket line is opened. And then when I put it on, I can take a pin and I can put it between this paper all the way to the edge and press it down there. There we go. Then I can just line the line and the start and finish of it. And then I can take the pins out. Now I want you to also mark two lines, one one centimeter above this line and one one centimeter below. Like this, line below, line above, one centimeter. And then we're going to align this pocket back on a fabric. Make sure that we align pocket, the back pocket with the interfacing that's at the back. Okay, now don't forget, this should be good side up. So this is the dart, this is going to be the good side of your trousers, this is the outside. This facing should be good side on this pattern piece, right? And I want you to pin that together around your weld pocket opening. Okay, and do the same for the other leg. When sewing your weld pocket, there's two things that are very important. One is you want to get two lines that are nicely parallel and equidistant to the center line. Two is you want to, them to stop at exactly the right um, width. You don't want one of them to go further because that will skew your pocket. Go. So just keep this nice and straight. As we approach the end, be careful, we don't want to get too far. That's the top, uh, the bottom line. Make sure you start at the same distance. We have that dart in the middle, so there's a bit of a bum there. Be careful. Don't let that surprise you. There we go. Top and bottom stitched. All fine. 